Hi, this is Ryan Luller. I'm here on the floor of CES 2014. We're out in front of this e-ink booth um, where we're going to take a look at the new Faraday bike. It's an e-bike, which is totally beautiful. This is going to be the first time we get a chance to look at the production run that's going to be shipping to people who pre-ordered it really soon. So I'm here with Adam, who's the uh, founder of Faraday. Uh, tell me a little bit about how you got started building this thing. Yeah, so Faraday's come a long way. We started off as a concept um, when I was at IDEO, the design firm. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, we were asked to build the ultimate city bike for a big bike design contest. And we built a bike we called the Faraday that was kind of our vision of what an electric bike could be. Mm -hmm. And that got so well received. People were so excited about that that we spun it out, launched a company, uh, launched that on Kickstarter last fall. And uh, now a year later, we're about to ship our first bikes uh, in a couple of months and that this is kind of the bike that's sort of the full circle of that process. Okay, excellent. And it's it's a road bike, but it's also an e-bike, right? Like, yeah. What's, what's powering this thing? So um, it's got a motor in the front wheel right there, mm -hmm. um, motor there, and then just a regular geared hub in the back, and there's a battery that's built right into the frame. Okay. And, and so when we kind of went out and looked at other e-bikes, uh, what was out there, we were pretty put off by kind of what we saw. It was a lot of big, clunky, hulking battery packs hanging out you know, here or, or here, and it really affected the way the bike looked and rode and felt. And so with this, we wanted to make a lightweight e-bike that was integrated and beautiful, mm -hmm. uh, that house and power and, and range and everything else. And so that's kind of what brought us here. Yeah, I was going to say, I've seen a, a fair number of e-bikes at this point, and this is really beautiful. So you've got Thanks. the batteries hidden in here in the tube? It's built right in the frame. Yep. Okay. And then this, this, a lot of people often think that this in the back is where the battery is. This is actually the brain of the bike, mm -hmm. really. Um, so the controller in here that runs the motor, mm -hmm. uh, that runs the rear lights. You can see there's lights in the back there and mm -hmm. the light in the front. That's all powered in the back there. Um, and then it runs sort of through the frame to the, to the motor. Okay, and how powerful is it? Like, uh, will it just like sort of drive you down the street? So, uh, one thing we've done is really taken a lot of care with the assist so that you don't feel like it's driving you down the street. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, it almost sneaks up on you. You just feel like you are incredibly strong. It's actually, it's really cool. Um, okay. So like, it, it, in numbers, it's a 350 watt motor. What that really means it'll do about three times your power. So mm -hmm. if you put out about 100 watts, it'll put about 300 in. So it adds quite a lot of power. So it'll take you about 20 miles an hour, kind of comfortably cruising around the city. Nice, upright, comfortable feeling. Um, it's pretty cool. And you can adjust that, right? Like you have yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So this actually, we're here at the e-ink booth. This is, um, this is an e-ink display in the screen there uh, that just shows you how much battery is left okay. in the thing. And you can turn it off right there mm -hmm. or put it in kind of a low or a high mode. We call the high the boost mode. That's kind of like the Superman. Uh, okay. As fast as you can go. Okay, so you're going to start shipping this. This is for pre-orders that you had. How much did this cost? So we pre-sold this for 3500 uh, mm -hmm. starting on Kickstarter and then pre-selling it since then. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've pre-sold about 200 of those. Okay. Um, they're all sold out first run, unfortunately. Um, but we're really psyched to get those out to those people who have been waiting for a long time now. Really patiently. Our backers are awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully starting in March, we're going to be, be shipping them to those first 200 people. And then anyone else who's interested in getting a pre-order can place one on our website now. Uh, and that next production run will come hopefully mid to late summer. Okay, awesome. Well, thanks for showing it off. I can't wait to try it out for myself. I know. I'm looking forward to giving you a spin. Cool.